with me. I'm just fresh and cool with things that another episode of Tokyo's World. I am your host, DJ Tokyo, back once again with another episode of Intellectual Ignorance Shit. As always, I got my co-host Vaughn in the building. Yo, what it do? Um, like I say, each and every episode, make sure you follow your boy on all my social media at DJ Tokyo GNSD. That's Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also uh, check out the YouTube. We actually got the video going uh, for the first time. Like, gotta remember to look up at the camera every now and again. Um, so uh, yeah, make sure you check out the YouTube, YouTube.com. Backslash Tokyo's World. Um, you can check out uh, my streams, twitch.tv, backslash Tokyo GNSD. Or oh, is it Tokyo? Wait for what? For the Twitch. I think it's GNSD. Tokyo GNSD. I think that's the Twitch. Not sure, but I'll definitely have it corrected on screen and Thanks. in the description. Um, make sure you follow the show everywhere. SoundCloud, uh, <laughs> YouTube, everyone. everywhere, iTunes. It's out there. Uh, yeah. Wherever you listen to your streams or your music or any other podcast, you can find this show there also. Vaughn, tell them where they can find you at. Sorry, Ed <laughs> It was pretty damn good, too. <laughs> but um, find me on all social media platforms at Vaughn the Artist, V O N N, the artist, spelled correctly. Don't forget to add the extra in or I will not pop up. If porn pops up, it's not my fault. <laughs> I told you, two ends. <laughs> SoundCloud, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and working on my YouTube as well. That's it. So, uh, yeah, now that we got the introduction out of the way, like I said, this is our first video that uh, we'll be doing. Um, hopefully, hopefully, it's the first of many. Um... I forgot to count how many episodes, but I feel like we're coming up on 100 episodes. If we haven't passed it already, I feel like we're coming close to 100. So the next one going to have like bad bitches in the background walking, serving us Definitely. our and shit? Definitely for the 100 episode. We're going <laughs> to do something special for the 100 episode. I don't know when it is. I'm going to have to uh, go back and look because we broke it off at season. We broke it off, I think, in like season episode like 30, yeah, tough, tough. 36 or something. Something season like that. one, I don't, I don't remember. Oh, you talking about the one the first season? Yeah, first did it? I, I don't remember when we broke that off, and then we started season two, and then we took a break. But I, so I feel like we might be like maybe close to it. twenty to twenty five episodes to it. I'm not sure. The only reason why I say that is because um, Dorm Tainment just hit a hundred episodes. Really? Yeah. For all the years they've been doing it. Yeah, where well, they podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. they they podcast just hit a hundred episodes. So, um. I'm definitely gonna check on that. Definitely gonna check that out. Figure out when that is, and if it's nowhere close, you never hear me say nothing about it <laughs> again. But if we close, then you probably won't hear that either because we already planned something. Right. But uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, and, and just for the ones who just tuned in, who just who's per, you know first time seeing the video, like, do your research. Believe me, just because you just seen the video, check the pod. Like you say, the podcast. We, mm -hmm. it's, it's deep. Yeah, this is our first video, but first video. We got tons of episodes up online. You can check out um new music. Uh Home of Me. Yeah. Can't tell. <laughs> I know I said it, I think I said it either last episode or the week before last. I just really hadn't been in a new music listening mood. And I don't yeah. feel like nothing really came out that I was interested in listening to. Of course Jay Z came out. Yeah. Listen to that on bootleg. Still haven't checked it because it. By the time it came, it came out on Apple Music a week later, which was like, y'all silly if y'all ran out and got a title subscription. Y'all could have just waited. Yeah, but that's it's, neither here nor there. Do what you want to do with your money. It's full of that Apple. Yeah, I listen to it on Apple Music. Um, what else? Uh, just um, I think R and B trying to make a comeback. Who dropped as far as R and B? Um, they got some new people coming out. Like, um, like I say, that's kind of one of the perks of listening to radio. Man. You know, they play who they think is next. Mm. And um, it, it's well, you probably heard it. There's a chick who sound like Aaliyah. Who they saying is the next Aaliyah? And she got a, a little dope song. It do sound like Let Me Know. Tink. That's her name. She sounds just like Aaliyah. I don't know. She I like don't, the newest thing I've heard. Tink don't sound like Aaliyah. I don't think Tink sounds like Aaliyah. 
when Tink did that song that one, she redid one in a million. One in a million. I had to hear you, you let me hear that though, huh? Pretty sure. Haven't you? Like the radio should have let you hear it too. It was everywhere because <laughs> it, it was like Timberland. Not only did she redo one in a million, but like Timberland was co-signing her, and like she was like the next thing. I don't even. I don't know if her and Timberland even still working together anymore. Oh. But yeah, that was something like two years ago. She came on. She dope. Um. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, I do you know, she like really pretty. She's dark handed. Uh, she also raps. Uh, her project, she came out with her project when she came out with the time of a million. I know for sure that's dope. And she came out with something else, and I I didn't check that out. I don't know why that why I didn't check it out at the time, but I didn't get a chance to check that out. Um, pretty much not. not. But she came out with that wave of girls like Dej Loaf, uh, Dreezy. Oh, that whole little yeah, that little wave of like girls that just came out of nowhere. She yeah. came, she came within that wave. Okay, and I, I like her. Her song wasn't as hot as "Try Me," so you probably she probably kind of got under the radar, but she was hot. Okay, um, why was "Try Me" so hot? Like I get it, it's a hot song, but like you know, like that was the it song. Let a nigga try me, try me, come and get it for my fucking body. It's a combination. It was catchy. It was melody, the beat. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Like, I yeah. guess it was, it was more. It was the perfect storm. More club, you know that can go everywhere. It was it was the perfect storm. Like you think about it, you could, you could have a cup in your hand, yeah. singing "Let a Nigga Try Me." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> two step. Yeah, you could just two step with it. You could be on them jigger bikes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A cup of Cialis and a some rock shot. <laughs> You be in a nursing home with, Vi- with Viagra. <laughs> when <laughs> I'm on the FBI, <laughs> two gigabytes, a bottle of Hennessy, and a Cialis. I got that dumb. <laughs> Up. <laughs> Up. <laughs> only old, only us old, old Baton Rouge heads probably know about that. Yeah, pretty much. Um, What's for Baton Rouge, by the way? Um, You should know that if you listen to the <laughs> podcast. We say it multiple times. It's no secret. Um, Speaking of that, that post was, yeah. I mean, that happened. Like, first off. <laughs> yeah, like that. Like, first off, I guess, of course, Academic is way more plugged in mm-hmm. than we are. Shout out to him. But I don't care nothing about dude musically. Right. And I didn't even know that they were even beefing or, like, not rocking with each other. They not. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, because what we talking about is um, one of our local rappers here in Baton Rouge, uh, Scotty Kane. He got um, robbed. He got robbed at like gunpoint with like guns and shit. And he was just uh, he pretty much like explained like the situation that happened where he was like, oh, um. Uh, they ran up on me with a gun. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. If you going you said you telling me you gonna die for some jewelry or blah blah blah. And so like he was just explaining the situation in the video. Yeah. And so academics reposted. You know, asking like, yo, is he telling the truth? Like, would you repost it? Yeah. Or you know, like, would you like die with some jewelry? No. And so like. Out of nowhere, I don't even know how. I'm, <laughs> I'm really trying to figure out how the fuck Instagram comments work because I think I just caught it at the right time because Mr. Kane commented on it and right. his comments was the very last comments that had been on the on the post. That's when I funny on because it. I see it sometimes and when you click them off, you don't know where yeah, they be at. Right? No, but this time his his actual comments were like the last ones, and so I seen when he told the dude to Google him. Right. And he was like. Uh, I'm just telling dude keep that name Kane or whatever out of his mouth or some shit like that. And then I don't know if he was talking to academics or if he was talking to Scotty. Right. I don't know what was going on, but so I strolled up a little further and I seen like the paragraph of him like explaining like I ain't see that the whole Kane like yeah. Well, I, I posted it. it was in my screenshot. Wait, what? The paragraph that Mr. Kane put was the first his first comment. I and seen then that the, one. And then the thing at the bottom was his like recent. That's what made me click on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like to find it. And so the cap, I put, I put, I put academic's caption, uh, Mr. Kane's first comment that sparked the whole shit, and then what made me click on it. And then when you go down, you see the uh, 
the, the reply that made me click i mean the, the one that actually made me click on it okay and so yeah because uh, yeah i don't know i don't know if they like got issues with each other not rocking with each other i mean dude still calling himself scotty kane last time i checked they was you know you they know, was click tight in the video you okay. know i i don't like i say i don't me neither know. so i'm not like uh you know keeping up with it yeah just because they you know they music just not my cup so i'm like you know I ain't really, uh, yeah. It ain't else. nothing I really dig into neither. Right. So, um, that happened just like out of the blue or whatever. I don't even really, really know what was going on with that. We were saying, um, yeah, I don't know where that came from and how yeah. it like jumped off or anything like that. So, when it um happened, I was just shocked and I was like, let me take this, let me screenshot this shit, right? Because apparently that's the way you got to keep receipts. <laughs> and I posted it up and I didn't expect for like everybody in Baton Rouge to like like the shit and right yeah Cause I'm starting to realize that I might be kind of getting popular and I gotta watch what I post <laughs> is the is the term I'm looking for politically correct no it ain't that it's just like you don't really know aggravation until your phone won't stop vibrating from mm. likes and comments and likes and comments and likes and comments. Yes, and likes and comments. I ain't got notifications on, so. Well, yeah, I have notifications on for likes and comments. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then you got the watch, too, so. Right, right. Exactly. That's yeah. another thing. So it, co- it goes off on a watch, and that's even more annoying because whenever my phone is, like, down or off or, like, just in, like, the right rest mode or sleep mode or some shit, mm-hmm. everything comes straight to the watch. So mm-hmm. it just bypasses the phone and comes straight to the watch. So that means my wrist Because it knows vibrates. that this is value. Yes. So my wrist will vibrate the whole fucking time. That's actually, if I wasn't on the phone Damn. actually looking at the, And I'm like sitting on my phone and I'm, got, I'm like swiping away these fucking notifications. And I'm like, bro. Because like when I put that video up, <laughs> uh, the, uh, that Tigerland bra they had. Oh, like yeah. When I had put old boy face at the bottom. That legendary bra. Yeah. And then like when my shit blew up from that, I was like, all right. Let me go ahead and hit the knife. <laughs> I, I had to turn the notifications off for that. Though. Does it feel like people starting to come to you now to, to get they, you know what I'm saying? I like, don't post enough of that, but I feel like <laughs> when I do post, I'm they, getting, they watching? Yeah, I'm getting like a lot of reaction for it. Because I don't post, like, I tell, I tell people all the time, my Instagram for lurking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> my Instagram for lurking and like piss poor promotions, and I, I'm trying to get better with that shit, mm-hmm. but. It's like, yeah, I'd be on Instagram just look what's popping. I just want to see. Especially because I'm not following people on Twitter. I'd rather see you than hear what you got to say. To me. Nah, Twitter is full of everybody who think they got an opinion and that opinion should be heard by everybody. I'd rather watch. Our Instagram is where I go. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I'd rather just see Instagram. instead of like um, Charlemagne said, uh, all ugly chicks should have Twitter. Damn. Because we would rather hear what you got to say Versus than see him. you. And all pretty chicks, who are usually dumber, we'd rather just see you. So go on and get you an IG and don't even worry about a Twitter. What is he lying? So I'm just going to have to go on ahead and say <laughs> no. I'm going to have to hit him with the name. He's not lying. Because I would rather see pretty dumb than dumb ugly. Mm. See? Let it marinate. I know. It is. I know. But I'm a hater though. Nah, dog. <laughs> hey, I'm just a hater, man. Manager. <laughs> I'm just a bill. It's no cap, but it's hell. <laughs> nah, you just ain't a fuck. That's all. Um, nah. let's see what happened in the movie. I don't even know what what did happen. Did I've been mean? completely out of tune too much. That's why the first thing I was telling you about when I got here was the Floyd and the, you know the the, the whole oh, jet thing. Oh yeah, let's talk about that shit. Um, Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather going on this like press tour for the fight they having in august august if i'm correct i think it's like august something matter of fact ain't that, that's around the corner it gotta be i haven't seen that one of them train i'm hoping that they did before i haven't seen no train like i don't even know the format of this fight <laughs> except it's boxing and not mma i don't know if it's gonna be like 12 round 10 round five round seven round I don't know if it's gonna be like regular, normal regulations. I don't know nothing that it. I don't know. I just know that. it's gonna be in uh, Vegas. It's not gonna be at the MGM Grand, which is strange. 
Right. But that's usually like where big uh, boxing matches happen. And people think this is a big match. I don't even think this has enough enough press to be big for and me. And that's why I think we're going to finna get into it. Yeah. That's why all the shucking and jiving is going on. Yeah. Everybody all upset over... Um, uh, everybody's all upset over Conor McGregor saying shit and Floyd Mayweather saying shit. People gotta understand. First off, they are literally just saying things to make you mad. Right. It's either to make you mad at them or make you mad with them, or at least to make you think you mad with them. They, come- they don't mean <laughs> or want to say any of this shit, but they know if they want the biggest payout possible. They gotta get as many people to. Uh, they gotta get as many people as possible to pay that ninety-nine dollars. So, um, in order for them to actually pay that ninety-nine dollars, they gotta drum up some type of um, Genesee Qua. Yeah. Or, uh, some kind of. Yeah. Some. So they gotta drum up some kind of like, uh, like I said, Genesee Qua or some shit. And so, what else? What better way to do that besides controversy? That's how Eminem got there. I mean, look at all these wannabe rappers nowadays. They rather just beef instead of make good music. They that's rather true. like that's why I refuse to pay attention to that Triple H dude because nobody knew him until everybody thought Drake stole his flow, and then he took that and he tried to he trying he's still trying to ride that same wave. He tried to ride that wave to a little piece of fame. He put out one good song. Like, people don't even know this dude had, like, 18 fucking projects before he got on. Which is nothing is wrong with. But it's how he got on. His good music didn't put him on. People Uh, didn't find out about him until he started this whole Drake Stole My Flow campaign. That was the first time I heard about him. Exactly. So, I refuse to listen to dudes. I don't care. I told told you this off air. In order for me to listen to him, he is going to have to have J. Cole... On a verse, I don't want to hear just J Cole hook. It got to be a J Cole verse in order for me to listen to it. If he don't have that, I'm not listening to dude. I don't even like Especially his style. Especially after that fucking, I didn't even listen to the Double uh, XL freestyle because I can I can tell you off rip nobody on that cover I was interested in. Uh, is that true? Who was all on it? I don't know. That's oh. I'm just gonna hey, I'm saying it. I don't know who was on it. But I can tell you, it wasn't nobody. Matter of fact, that's how I know I don't care. Because I don't even know who was on it. I can't even tell you who was on it to even say that I remember somebody. Nobody memorable was on this year's Double XL cover. So that's how I know I don't like nobody. And then if I do like somebody on there, then I'll probably say that next week. But as far as this week is concerned, ain't nobody on that cover I care about. So, yeah. So when it came down to listening to the uh, freestyle... Go ahead and skip clean on past right. that. And then I'm watching the reviews and everybody's commentary on it. And pretty much he was up there telling you hell Satan. <laughs> and um, that don't agree with my spirit. Might do y'all's. But that's y'all walking life. You know what I'm saying? That's how y'all come. Talk not coming like that. Right. So, nah. I, I just said, fuck it. I'm not even going to pay dude no mind. Uh, <laughs> RCD World 1 made a funny skit about it. That's as far as I know about dude. And so, like, that's that's the type of shucking and jiving that I feel like Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor are doing. Like, he made the whole boy thing. And, like, I don't know if he knew that was an issue here in America. But once he found out, he's continuing the coon. What happened with that? Well, apparently he told uh, Floyd Mayweather, he was like, dance for me, boy. Dance for me. Oh. And you know, when oh, a yeah, white boy. man say, boy... You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you, that turn heads. You start <laughs> looking. You, you hit that Kermit. That's fade. When that nigga just sitting on the couch, you start looking at a nigga. Right. Right. And so he hit that. And, uh, of course, Charlemagne, uh, Charlemagne gave him donkey of the day. But it wasn't so much calling him a donkey. It was just, he was saying, I just want y'all to know that if you walk up to a black guy and call him boy, in a derogatory manner, depending on your context, he might steal on you. Right. So he was he was like, I just want to inform you. Because you can be like, yo, that's my boy. That's cool. But if you walk up, man, what you doing? Boy. boy. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? Now you asking for a fight. 
And then the, the B, how bold that B is. Yeah, especially if you let that B hang there for a second. Boy. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, fade. Yeah, right. You got to go. A, yeah. How you doing, boy? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, mm. yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, the it's not so much as, you know, you calling somebody a boy. It's the way you say it, the intent, and, like, how it sounds. And that's what the whole, that's what he was saying. And, of course, you got your dumb ass to talk about something. Also, I can't say boy no more. Boy is racist now. But, you know, um, in, like, Mandarin speech and, like, the Japanese speech, your tone is everything. Mm -hmm. You can say the same mm -hmm. shit, but if you use a tone, they'll take it another way. Mm. Especially when a lot of this stuff is, like, dialect-based. Like, mm -hmm. you can put a high pitch on something. It can mean totally something else. Yeah. And and whether than when you put a low pitch on it. Right. And, I mean, it's the same shit. Like, yep. It's all about like intent. <laughs> they take they take this shit big. You be like, man, what up, boy? Oh man, what's up? What up, boy? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Defense you gotta... mode. You know what I'm saying? Current. <laughs> what's out? Fuck all that. Mm -hmm. So anybody who falling for that, them gimmicks or whatever, trying and getting caught up in that shit, I wish you nothing but the best. Um, oh my bad. I, I need you to stay far, far away from me, <laughs> and I wish you nothing but the best on your future endeavor. Because that's just foolishness. They really just doing that shit just to do it. They ain't really got my attention yeah, like that. Yeah, I, I, I really don't care. The only thing I care about as far as fighting is fight bay. Michelle Waterson. WWE got more attention than, than that do. I still watch it. Really? Yeah, I still I, I I watch it. I don't watch TV, I, so that's why I haven't seen it. It like, come with the package, so like, I just watch it. No, I mean like the whole, oh, I need to sit down and watch this mm -hmm. at sudden, like X amount of time or... At X o'clock. Right, yeah, like like tuned yeah. in and all that. Yeah, yeah. like that, nah. Like, that was see, so 90s. If they had it like on demand where I could watch it like I watch everything else, then maybe I'd be caught up with the storylines and shit. That's how I don't get the power stuff, like the power and the Empire stuff. Like yeah, people. I mean, I could, like, I still haven't finished, um, I'm still trying to finish Blackish. I haven't even started. Exactly. I watched so, like, Chopped. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to finish Blackish. I'm trying to finish uh, Empire. I think I'm still on season three of Empire. They probably just started a whole new season. I don't even know. Because I'm just not sitting down in front of it. Like, I don't know what happened, but it was like, I don't know if it was like the beginning of the year or like somewhere in the spring, but it was like just a total. I think it was whenever I got my desk, it just went like a total shift. I don't sit down and just watch TV like that no more. Like, I'm doing something, even if I'm just sitting at the computer watching YouTube videos. Like, I feel like I'm doing something other than watching TV. Like, I don't, I, I'm never just like, oh, let me. The only time I, I really feel like I get a chance to just sit down and watch like TV or a movie or something is either A, I go to the movies, or B, it's on like a Sunday afternoon or something. And I'm just relaxing. Yeah, like I don't want to play no games or I done got all work out of the way or, you know, I'm not cleaning up doing chores or some shit like that. Then I'll lay down and try to right. binge why I didn't even start Orange is the New Black. I haven't seen that either. Yeah, it's like on, what, I think it's season four, season five or some to shit like that. To be honest with you, the last thing I, I like really beat down the TV for to watch was The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was like the last thing I used to beat down the TV for I'm every behind Sunday. On that. Yep, I'm, I'm gone. They were still fighting Negan when I watched. I'm gone. I'm lost. I didn't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, the last episode I watched, they had just found the people that wear all black. Mm hmm. And she pushed uh, Rick down that thing and made him fight that uh, pipe the, zombie or some shit. Right. Yeah, that was that the was last it. episode I seen. And I don't know what didn't happen after that. To be honest with you, I watch more Ha Ha Davis compilations than I do TV. Damn. Yeah. I'm just on. I, I want to Nothing against TV. It's just, <laughs> I'm going to get to it when I get to it. I'm going to battle rap. And in the case of WWE, they don't have it on demand like how everything else is. Right. Like, I don't think I can fire stick WWE. I probably nah. can. I don't know. I don't know if nobody's like saving those episodes somewhere. They could be. I don't think you can. See, I don't know. And then by me going to bed at a certain time, it's like I don't get a chance to just stay up and just oh, oh yeah, it's true. Cause by then the good, sh I'm, I'm gone. Exactly. I'm out of so here. It ain't even really worth me. It ain't even worth me like sitting there and falling asleep on an episode. And then YouTube. Exactly. You, you can just always come back and. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I mean, like if if shit was on YouTube, I could watch it because it's not blocked at my job. But a lot of those, <laughs> a lot of those, like. Like, video streaming things is, like, just gone or whatever. It's not, I can't watch it at work. It's blocked. 
So, um, so like, yeah, I, if it's not on YouTube, then I can't fuck with it. Okay. Just cause. Um, what else happened? Nothing. Uh, Nicki Minaj supposedly pregnant rumor. Yep, don't gonna go ahead and skip clean past that. Don't care, we'll show nothing but the best. All right, cool. Nothing to do with me, ain't my baby. Kind of good on her. Not gonna lie. Uh, MGK um, trying to make a comeback. Yep, gonna go ahead and skip <laughs> clean past that. Zero retiring. Yep, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> but I understand. I feel like he was 40 when I was a kid. And then he lived a thug life, so... He, he about he's seventy. About, he's about hundred and twenty four <laughs> now. So, well, I, I mean, just, it's only right. You gotta know. You gotta gotta know. And your then time. when he say retire, what that mean? Exactly. What does that mean? You know what I think, and what I honestly, honestly think, I think that he retired from rapping, but he gonna keep singing. Because uh, <laughs> I'm like, all right, you retire. What that mean? You gonna stop doing shows? Mm-mm. That's where majority of your income come from. You gonna stop uh, like rapping? You gonna stop like actually making new music? Like exactly what does a retirement mean for an artist like Zero who doesn't rely on mainstream like record labels and distribution? His catalog is nasty shit. enough to tour for the rest of his life. I mean, yeah, he could always like do shows and like always, you know, get money off of that. So it's like. What does retirement actually mean for you know zero? Or rapper period? Cause like rev like oh, everybody. No. Oh no 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 no! Trust me, there's a <laughs> few people who we don't ever want to see or hear from again. I eat every dance hit dude we didn't ever had. Damn D4L. Hey, hey, uh, one dead. Well, you don't even count him because he was in jail when Lavi Tavi came out. So Shorty Low really don't count. I don't even really count him. Where where's D4L? Where's Shot Boys? Shot Boys. Uh, half, no, three quarters of Cali Swag District is dead. Mm. Uh, what's the other dude? Uh, the other Dougie dude. You right uh, though. Like, you hit it yeah, on the so head. Like, all these, dance on, yeah. Yeah, like these cats, yes. It's, yes Ain't no longevity do, in that shit. But, then. but see, the game retires them. They don't retire from the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People them. just stop listening to them. That's totally different. You can't dance at 45. You can't be whipping and nailing at 45. I'm just saying. I mean, because you look at Jay-Z. He claimed he was going to retire. This bitch didn't put out four albums since. Mm-hmm. Or five. I don't know. I don't really keep I don't really keep uh, track. Of, you know, but I'm saying, like, he claimed he retired. And he was retiring after the Black Album. Wasn't Wayne supposed to retire, too? I guess. And this nigga dropped, like. I guess. Whatever. He just took a break. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think they just say that just to, just to hear themselves talk. To be honest with you, you know that. What does that mean? You gonna start? You gonna retire? You are not doing no more concerts? That, like, that actually boosts sales. You gonna, you know, you you you, you spent almost 20, 30 years in a studio, and you just gonna stop going to the studio? Scarface supposedly retired. He dropped the album. That's what I'm saying. Like you don't just retire. Nah. People just stop listening to you. That's one thing. If people stop listening to you, okay, cool, we get it. That's a retirement. But as far as that's, if, if there's still people who want to listen to you, I mean, you don't necessarily have to retire. And that that's goes, the whole. That's the whole benefit of having a, a cult following. I bet you if Chameleon did a show right now, yeah, people would show up. It, it'll it'll sell out. Because yeah. we've been waiting to hear him. He don't care. If fuck around, rap ignorant to him, he don't care. A nigga say, I've seen his interview and he was like, man, I'm gonna leave this to these young cats. <laughs> I'm good on it. And he was saying this in an executive office. He was like, I'm good. I'm gonna leave that to the young cats. Uh-huh. Bro. Half a billion dollars to do that to you. Disney bought Maker Studios for half a bill. Five hundred million dollars. I'll just have babies. Hey. I'll just be somewhere popping off babies. Hey. That's it. Hey. See, when you got five hundred billion, you could sit down and raise your kids. Hey. You can be at the, at the teacher teacher parent conferences and half a million and that's shut up. And then he from down south. Hey man. Well, I don't know where he's from now. You can call it. He, he from Silicon Valley, if you ask me. Silicon him, huh? Valley. Shit, born and raised California. I mean, born and raised San Francisco. What you mean? I don't know that guy. That nigga always in California. <laughs> no matter where he go, no he in California. Where he go. <laughs> in California. Speaking of that, oh, this damn. cat, bro, man. No cocaine, though. It wasn't cocaine. Oh, man. One, was... of, one of our local rap heroes. 
<laughs> the first nigga in the city to be on uh, 106 in Park. Probably the, the one of the first nigga to hit number one on 106 in Park from Baton Rouge, Webby. Apparently, he out here, Swanton Bonnie, his old lady, uh, beating her up, how coke and other miscellaneous drugs. Now, of course, he was arrested and charged on all this good judge. And then he promptly bailed out, went to the hospital, took a drug test, posted the drug test results on social media. <laughs> yeah, say man. And it had a number of drugs where it was like uh, negative, 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 negative. When it got the THC, it was like triple positive. <laughs> that <laughs> nigga was high. Yeah. And then it was like, man. And then his caption was like, man. Oh, uh, last time I checked, uh, cocaine stayed in your, uh, stayed in your cell for four days. You know what I'm saying? Cocaine in your cell for four days. I ain't, I'm good over here, baby. Number that good California, baby. <laughs> Number that good California. <laughs> so, so this nigga here. He told you for years, all he do is California. Then he proceeds to, I don't know if this is like his new shit now, but it, it seems like every night he posting a, a new video of him in a fucking bubble bath. Yeah. Sitting in the damn tub, talking about something in my bubbles. You know what I'm saying? Let's not let's not forget the legendary walkway, the, the wall, <laughs> the planet of the east. He ain't even want me there. <laughs> that nigga posted his caption, say, "Man, I don't even want to be here." No hashtag. <laughs> it was just that. <laughs> it was just a picture of him. And then he's smiling. The red carpet at the wall, the planet of the east premiere, talking about something I don't even want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga ignorant. Like, bro, this nigga here, man. And they and people wonder why he banned from BET, man. Get your home, man. Hey. Get the, your home, man. It look like Baton Rouge going back into that negative light again. Young boy. When did we ever game. come out? When did we ever come out? Can you point a time that we ever came out? Man, free Boosie. So when Boosie came home, we was out of... I, I think... I take, I take I mean, that one. because Boosie came home and got the fuck up out of here, so kind of, he don't count. I take that as a dub, though. Mm. Mm. I take that as a win, because he could have died. He was mm. on death row. Come on, now. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, Just because Marlon Mike was in the backseat begging for a body, don't mean Boosie gave him one. So I don't know, man. And I don't I, know, B. Now they got this dude they claiming is the new Nussie. So... See, I'm so I'm so far removed from. <laughs> if y'all don't know this, I DJ, and I graduated from house parties to clubs to corporate events. When I tell you <laughs> corporate events are a breeze, that's all I care about now. Right. So, top forty, nice clean music, checks that clear before I even hit the door. That's the type of DJ I like doing. Right. So a lot of these new cats, bro, that be coming up out here, first off, they don't rock with me. I don't reach out to them. No beef. But it's just I don't have no relationships with none of these cats. And a lot of these cats move way differently than I move. So it'll Facts. really be on some, like, business type shit. Because we can't hang around. What they going to want to do? They not going to want to sit up in here just breathing in clean air, playing video games, editing videos and podcasts hey, and shit. Hey, what that lean? Yeah, Put that lean saying, up. Nigga, we drinking daiquiri. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> FDA approved. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> for, for recreational consumption. You know what I'm saying? You got to make a weed brownie with a weed smoothie with lean shakes mm. and Molly soda. Mm. All in I'm one. not playing who's trying to die first. <laughs> I don't want to play that. That's not my cup of tea. I don't want. So it's like. So it's like. Shout, out to, shout out to y'all. Yeah, so it's like. Yeah, I mean, like I said, no beef. It's just I don't know none of these new cats. Like, um, they'll come out with like maybe a high song and we're him for a summer, and then we never hear from him again. Oh, speaking of, I found out what y'all niggas really be sipping on too. Y'all niggas are sipping on oral hygiene control medicine. Oh, yeah, you showed me that. Shit. That shit is not lean. Y'all niggas yeah, sipping on cough syrup. That's mouthwash. That's mouthwash. Niggas like that shit is not even wash. lean. Like, I know what lean look like. I know what it's, lean it's is. That much of a drought. The way these niggas going to Walmart and ain't racking nobody, up. Ain't nobody got scriptures no more. Y'all might just go get, go get some tussin. <laughs> go get some robot tussin. Y'all niggas are drinking mouthwash. Man, I'm telling you, man, take you about four or five of them, them uh, Z-Quills. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. And oh, fight you, it. Oh, you're going to be out of here. And enjoy Trust, the ride. Trust me. Boy, I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. Never again. <laughs> Never again. I thought I was going to go get that stomach pump. But then I thought about it. And I need to pump my stomach. It's already flowing through my system. Yeah, you pretty much gone. If, if any, whatever gonna happen, when I gonna tell happen. you, you gotta ride that shit <laughs> out. <laughs> it ain't no, it ain't no just. Oh, we gonna instantly shake you back, nah, son. You gotta ride the wave. Oh damn, nigga. so they can't, they can't pump you. You gotta ride the wave, nigga. That's all you can do, nigga. Ride that shit out, bro. Nah, kind of like MD twenty twenty. <laughs> you gotta ride that out. You take a bottle of that to the head, thinking it's juice. <laughs> You got about four hours, about four or five hours. That dead bit out, man. You gonna nah. sweat. And that's why I'm like, nah. I'm Your good balls gonna stick and stuff. You gotta ride it I'm out. Good on them fronts, cuz. <laughs> that's why I'm like, nah. I'm good on that. Don't worry about me. Talk good. I love Northdale. I just thought I'd throw that out there. I love Northdale with a passion, man. We was around a bunch of like minds who worked together. Around a bunch of criminals, man. It was all criminals. Everybody was a criminal in their own way. Sell me. <laughs> <laughs> me. Everybody nigga. was a criminal. I ain't gonna say nothing about the shit that went down, but y'all know. Man, like I'm just this, this little nerdy video game playing ass nigga just come pulling up in. That's why I learned all my illegal activity from high school, Northdale. Like I didn't do none of that shit. Three quarters of the people that went there were court ordered to be there. True. They had to get interviewed. I came there because I failed. My freshman year at Bel Air. That's the only reason why I went there. And it was the closest school to my house. That's true. That's true. So it was either there or Broadmoor. I didn't even know it was a school. They like, got a Broadmoor High? Yeah, they got a... Do they? I don't know. No, I think Woodlawn. I think Woodlawn would have been the next closest school to me. Bro, bro, I, I tried to go to Broadmoor and they told me it was out, out, the, uh, out, out of my district. Well, see, there you go. And I was, and we was in the same area, yeah. so they told us I couldn't do it. Oh, well, shit. I'd have been shit out of luck then. <laughs> Because if I done went back, if I done went back to Bel Air, I would have had to repeat the ninth grade again. Yeah, true. That's how terrible I did. All core classes, all electives except PE and uh, computer science, I got straight F's in. All F's. I'm Flying playing. flag. Solutions. That's what I came home with. Every report card. Solutions. I passed weightlifting and lunch. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I passed that's that why bro. we had to go to fucking Northdale, man. It was some most, it was on some most super exclusive, secluded ass like uh, alternative school. You could only get to that bit by taking transfer. I felt like we had a special bus on one side of transfer we that did. nobody else could go through. You had to go through fucking metal detectors and shit. Interview. You had to be interviewed to get accepted to the school. Shit, yeah. You had to do that shit. And you had to come with your court papers. The only reason, the only way I got in is because I knew somebody that was in the office. Me too. Yeah. So, like, that's <laughs> how we got in. Because we knew somebody who was in the office. Because they only accept, like... Certain, that, yeah, a certain accept, amount of people. Yeah, they only accept a certain number of people every year. And it's like, that place is like, when you get kicked out of the alternative school, this is the place where you go to. And so if you go, if you like get kicked out of there, then you go to hmm, juvenile know. detention. I guess CC lockdown. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, this was really the last, last stop. That was a blessing yeah. when you think about it. And the, but that's why you had to get like interviewed in, like, because imagine all the people who went that route Ooh, and, and then it get, wasn't accepted. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? They was just like, "Fuck it." <laughs> just saying, still saying, "Fuck it" to this day. Yep. Goddamn forty-seven. And we graduated. Hey, we made it. Look here. <laughs> My nigga, made we it. made it. Made it. Fuck it. Yep. That's Dang. all. That's all I really care about. Made it. Cause uh. Not everybody, not, not not all of us made it. So that's true. Yeah, I ain't never think of it like that till now. Yeah, till we got older and like yeah, really think like it. Here it is, sitting at twenty eight, and you realize. Lucky, <laughs> it was nah, somebody dude. looking out for us. Nah, I ain't, I ain't even going. I ain't lucky. I'm blessed. <laughs> nah, man, fuck what you heard. Man. I ain't doing all that. I'm out. Mm. Oh, you need a re up. You show, sure? bro. You need a re up. You ain't like. Nah, right, man. I'm just. You need a re up. Yeah, so, I'm about to re-up now. Um, what else? Uh, what else happened? Uh, hmm. uh, I don't know. I feel like 
I feel like it was a light week. Um, what was for me? Trump is still stupid. His son released emails thinking that it was gonna, um, thinking it was gonna like help this case of them colluding with uh, Russia. Come to find out, this nigga actually did have a meeting and he told on himself. So that's a thing. I heard bits and pieces, but I'm, I'm completely out of politics right um, now. Yeah, I told you. I told you like on last episode. I'm completely I'm disconnected. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, I'm disconnected from politics. About it. As far as I know, the gist of it is uh, Donald Trump Jr. found out that the New York Times was going to run a story about him having a meeting with um, somebody who was representing the Russian government. And so... Uh, what the... Man, I'm trying to grab your cup. Nigga, I thought you was handing me something. No. For real. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just rushed over here. I'm like, what are you doing? Mm. Oh, I thought that's why I thought you was handing me some yeah. shit. Oh, man, I'm just trying to keep it off camera, man. Bro, that's what I'm saying. I'm, that's what I'm thinking. You handing me something. I'm like, what, what, what's going on here? Yo, bloopers. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah, so Donald Trump Jr. found out that the New York Times was going to be running this story about him uh, actually having a meeting with somebody representing, like a lawyer representing the Russian government. So, um... He went and uh, instead of like being outed or whatever, he was like, oh, I'm going to put these emails that I had with this person out or whatever, which he did via Twitter. Right. Now, of course, you got to Social media. Shit. Yeah. So you got to take this with a grain of salt because if he put them out, how you know he didn't put out all the emails? What if he only put out the ones that wouldn't look that bad? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then they claim he had this meeting and it was nothing really fruitful. And so they left with no real blah blah blah. Whatever, my nigga. Russia has something to do with it, bro. <laughs> and it's like it's it's so it, it behooves me the fact that they really on some like we gonna kind of see we gonna nah you know what I'm saying like nobody really wanna say we fucked up like nobody wanna take the blame. It, it's all yeah like it's like nobody wanna say we made a mistake electing this dude allowing this dude to be elected. In fucking office, like nobody wants to take that L, and it's like somebody got to take that fucking. Somebody L. put him in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So so so. And it damn sure wasn't because <laughs> I didn't click his name. Nah, so I didn't see it. Exactly, I wouldn't. Nah, that shit wasn't. Nah, 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 folks. That whole that whole electoral college popular vote not meaning shit. That shit, they they, they got to do away with that shit because that shit though. They shit shouldn't trash. even say it. That shit though. That shit Cause, trash. Because now it make you feel like like. What, what does it mean? I don't know. It, and like, it's because it, it goes by the whole electoral college shit. You got to look that shit up. Yeah. This is just like a gist of it. But it, it goes by percentages. So if majority percent of a highly populated area votes one way, then the delegate of that person votes for that candidate. So like California, there's a shit ton of people out right. there. There's 55 delegates to be had out there. So, 55, if majority of the people vote for, which they voted for Hillary, so she got those 55. You know what I'm saying? But then you got little states that are like, it goes by population depending on how many uh, delegates you get. So, like Louisiana, even though we like one of the biggest states, right. we not that populated. Mm -hmm. So, we don't get a lot of delegates. I think we only like seven to 10. And, right. and then it also fluctuates. You know what I'm saying? That's why they do the census, the, uh, the census to see where to everybody is. keep track of where everybody is. Right. Where. So they need to do away with that shit. Figure out a better shit. I ain't got no solution because I ain't sat down and thought about it. <laughs> but just figure that shit out. Cause you had to be in office in a position of power to change that. I mean, I would just have to have time. And you have to pay me. <laughs> you have to pay me for my time. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, Trump, every, everything involving Trump is stupid. Uh, <laughs> it's just straight to the point. Yeah, like... No, no, no need to go in detail with anything else. Um, what else happened that week? Uh, to be honest with you, like I say, it was it was like, like mm -hmm. I ain't I can't really give no topics because, like I, I do the little, I join some little thing and they they give me like the little, just trying to keep me in tune on what's going on with the world. Right. Mostly music half the time, but like, just like stupid stuff. Uh, Rob Kardashian, uh, a little shit from Trump. You know, some music guys, it's light. Yeah, and for that whole to be going on, a campaign, a 
about leaking news and shit. Yeah, that's... Me swear. <laughs> and just for everybody to know, Black China is back hosting parties, so if you got that deposit, you got that front end, pretty sure she'll take a picture, send you a picture or something, you can print a fly. I do have a quick know. question, though. Why are news so popular when we got porn? Because it's the person. That's it? Yeah. That's who it is. I just figured, you know, somebody leaked some titties, but, you know, you can go X and X, X and just see all kind of buzz. Yeah, it's who, it's who, the, it's who the titties are <laughs> attached to. You seen Wonder Woman? No. You didn't see Wonder Woman? Oh, yeah, I seen her. I seen the actress. Yeah. I seen her titties. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They cool. And, like, Rihanna. Rihanna always shows us her titties. So, it's like, it's mm-hmm. really no need to, like... Like, if you got Rihanna news, it's like, okay. You know what I'm saying? But if you put out, like, some Michelle Obama news... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? See, yeah, it's yeah, the you person. Made, you made your point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's the person. Okay, I just, you know, it's kind of like, it's just like, kind of like how I feel about twerking. And then depending on how bad they are, they can, if they're good news, they can boost you. Mm. Like, like Funny Bay. Yeah. Just like, hilarious. That just made her followers go exactly. up. Exactly. I was like, well, shit, I was here for the funny, but now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now that I see what's going on, oh, you know what I'm saying? It was up there. You know what I'm saying? And, and, I still got them news saved in my research. And that shit worked. For her, it mean, worked in her favor. She fine, and she, she got a genuine following. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's genuine, and she funny. Oh, nice. <laughs> and she funny. So did you funny. see how she went in on me, bro? Did I? Two. Oh, of course I did. Two times. Like, bro, she did, bro. That's why I call her funny, babe. Cause she funny and she fine. Bro, which one you think went harder? For round one or round two? Two. When she put out the dick. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Yeah, because uh, when she was in the car. And I like that one, though. Home, I like the first one. When she was like, yo, I'm just playing, man. You know what I'm saying? Pull up on you. Like, hit you with that dick. And then she put out a whole dildo in her hair. Damn. It was like a big black triumphant bitch. But Meek did it to himself. He shouldn't have said nothing. Yeah. He shouldn't have said nothing like, by the name, Meek. No, he. Why does this nigga always swing above his? He like Marlon Wayans and white chick. He always want to fight somebody bigger than him. Why are you trying to come at it, come with the jokes to a comedian who out here getting paid shows? Why you want to come at a rapping ass nigga who the number one on the charts? Why this nigga can't go at Uzi Vert? Why this nigga can't go at the dudes who fucking opening up for Kevin Hart? I'm checking on. I think she got more followers than him. I wouldn't put it past. Her. <laughs> I'm checking. Meek Mill ain't got no real friends. No. He can't have no no not one real friend around him. Everybody around him just want to keep living. Want to keep living this quote unquote just, lavish life? Just leech him. Yeah, yeah they just leech him. He ain't got not one real friend around him. That's sad. That's kind of sad. Now that I think about it, Let's I would see. not want to live that that puke existence. Nah, oh, no, nah. he got more. A room full of a room full of a room full of yes men, cuz he got more. I mean, followers. of course he got more followers. But how many of them hoes fake? He got to be honest with you, it's safe. Who following him? He got eleven million. To be honest with you. If Jess wouldn't have said nothing, I wouldn't have even known that he said nothing because I don't even follow dudes like that to even know when he do shit. Hmm. Point. Dude need a life. <laughs> dude need a rap. He <laughs> almost had me with that Chris Brown song. Which one? His new song that he put out with Chris Brown and Ty Dolla Sign. He got a new song? And it's using a Tony, Tony, Tony um, sample. He got a song? And he still missed. Versus what? Of course, Ty Dolla Sign saves it. <laughs> and it's a Chris Brown hook with Tony, Tony, Tony sound. So it's pretty much you can just cut him off and just go straight to the... But when I say it, I'm a hater. Facts is facts. But when I say it, I'm a hater. Like, when I tell you that song could do without, anybody could get on that song and it'd be dope. Mm. And I feel like if anybody else was on that song, it'd be a lot bigger song than what it is. Because it's like, it's cool, but ain't nobody really fucking with it. Right. It's kind of like one of them... It's just up in the air. It's kind of like, oh, I'll get to it when I get to it. It's right. good, though. Yeah. Yeah. So. Damn. So he can't win for losing. He really can't. L. You can't spell Meek Mill without two L. I said call him Meek L. Meek L's. <laughs> I forgot what, uh, what it just called their fans. Uh, call his fans the Meeky Mouses or some shit. Mm. I forgot what she called them. But yeah. And then she's an active comedian. So why would you fuck with somebody active? And she fine. You getting roasted. I mean, of course you may not think she fine if you out here looking for these balloon booty bitches. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That ain't her wave. Nah, nah, nah. 
balloon booty. <laughs> it was funny whenever she talked about her own. She was like, you know, minus the boy titties, I don't think they wasn't that bad. And you know what? Titties ain't really my cup of tea, so I didn't mind. And all it did was make everybody fall in love. Titties is cool. Titties is like the coleslaw. I would, to me. I would say mac and cheese. Mac and, no, I like mac and cheese. Titties. But, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's kind of, it, titties is like air. You don't know because you no, need air. You need air. Titties is like, titties is like clothes. I'm trying to get that one. Like, I don't want them. <laughs> oh, like, I don't want them. Titties is. It's a titties like clothes. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what titties is like. That you want, but you don't need. It's um, like titties is cool, but titties, like I don't know, titties is titties. It's kind of like titties it, cool. It, I, it's, I'd rather it's, ask. It's whipped cream. I'd rather ask. Whipped cream on a Sunday. It's make it good regardless. Nah, cause I wouldn't even just get. I wouldn't get a Sunday. But you just don't like titties. Titties what, is cool. What? Like when I tell you, I can pass up titties. Oh. I can just pass up titties. Like, I'll take a fat ass on some titties anyway. Okay. Well, at one yeah. point in time, you want to ass man. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> just because you can bend skinny girls in different ways that you can't do a fat ass. But, you know, once you see that big booty, blah, 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 from the back, you know, it hypnotizes you. And it's like ass. It's like ass. Oh, shit. Fat ass. You see your ass coming, you like, shit, what's up? What's up? Okay, dog, you might want to try that. What is you might want to try that. I don't even know what it is, but you might want to try it. I don't even give a damn what it is, but you might want to try it. Give it a go. Fuck it, I gotta go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Y'all fight. Fuck a bag. She. <laughs> she. Who? I'm just bullshit. <laughs> I do not co-sign that statement. She. Who? Bags is bae. What you mean? What? No, foods, they're nice. I, like, cool. I, I mean, like I just like, hey, I can do a lot more with her ass than I can some titties. Yeah. Doesn't need to hear no though. Um, <laughs> anything else we need to discuss? To be honest with you, no, besides the fact that I'm working. Bag season. Bag season. That's all it is, bag <laughs> season. Hashtag, you want to find me? Hashtag bag, bag season. Bag season. Yep. That's all it is. Before every show and after every show, bag. Bag. Secure the bag. Secure it. At all all secure, times. Secure the bags at all times. Even from yourself. Shit, shit. Because you, you can fuck around and you could be the number one reason why you don't get a bag. You don't, you don't pay attention Looking to Looking at yourself. everybody else. Why they, like, man, why they give me my bag? Because believe me, I, I could go into detail, but I'm waiting till after I secure the bag first. Mm. And I'll tell you that story because I don't even want to speak on it and glorify it and give it some energy. Mm. Please don't. Mm-mm. Um, like I say, each and every episode, man, check your boy out on all my social media at DJ Tokyo GNSD, Facebook, Instagram. I just always and wanted to Twitter. do that. This guy, um, <laughs> the YouTube, youtube.com backslash Tokyo's World, uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash Tokyo GNSD. All my shit, everything will be down in the description. You can check it out there. Um, you can find this show. Links are all down be in the description. I think the show will go the the or that uh, Von tell me where you can find you. <laughs> all social media platforms at Von and Artist V O N N the Artist spelled together and correctly. Don't forget the two ends. One more time. If you're doing it at school and some bullshit pop up, <laughs> it ain't my fault. I told you two ends. Two ends. Two ends. <laughs> The uh, No Politics demo is now available at SoundCloud. So go check that out. Got four songs loaded up. Check it out. I think it'll be in the description. Yes. Um, I know for sure that the audio version of this, the audio version will go up Monday. Um, hopefully the video version will go up simultaneously. Yeah. Um, and yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what that's what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming to have both of them go up at the same time. Um, if not, the it'll be delayed by either hours or maybe one day. So yeah, it won't be too it, far. Yeah, behind. if it go up, if the audio go up on Monday, then you can expect the video up Tuesday. So I'm trying to get on that schedule. I'm streaming usually two hours a night, trying to do five days. 
it ain't it ain't really so much as a like hassle with the whole streaming thing. It's just more uh actually like sit down and doing it. Right. Like, once I sit down and do it, and we get in that bit, like it, it'd be go mode. Uh, I'm working on. I'm also working on a stream highlight video that I'm gonna throw out there. Okay. For the week, you know, just like like trying to start like a new series or some right. shit like that. Um. And I got something coming for YouTube too. Just wait on it. Yeah. I got so, something coming. So we work. We trying to secure as many bags as possible. Oh, eight, eight, eight ways. Eight ways. <laughs> you know, so trying to get eight ways. Lump sums and residuals. We all take that. it off. While you sleep. Yep. Um. Starting to feel like Prince. Yeah. So just check us out. I mean, ain't nothing more. Ain't nothing else more, more we can say. Oh. Uh, just another episode of Tokyo's work. Down. To- yeah. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Peace. See me, I'm just fresh and cool with things that you can't be as smooth with. See me.